What's up, guys, and welcome to my non-spoiler review for Dune. This is the new Dene Villeneuve film, starring Timothy Chalamet, uh, Oscar Isaac, Rebecca Ferguson, Zendaya, Josh Brolin. The cast is humongous in this film with so many big names. And uh, from the trailers and everything, I was excited to see this movie. And let me just first... Uh, say right off the bat if you are a lover of this film and you've seen it and you dug it and it's totally for you and, and you loved it that's great and i'm very happy for you i am not totally with you on that um what i will say is i didn't dislike the movie but i barely liked it um you know, when I went in to watch this film, you know, you see commercials and trailers that say, this is the new Star Wars, this is the new Lord of the Rings. And I completely see why they're saying certain things like that, because I suppose some of the story beats do are, do kind of feel similar to the Lord of the Rings. You have, do have a lot of characters walking in this film from one place to another, going from one place to another, and then you got an action scene. It is similar in that sense. But the the main big difference particularly between the lord of the rings and this dune film and the fellowship of the ring i guess i, I guess i could say because that's sort of what we're dealing with here in this situation uh that film has heart and a soul and the characters have such personality and vibrancy and you can really attach yourself to the story just simply because of the characters and this film I think the, the the story is more prominent than the characters are. You have this Timothy Chalamet character. He plays Paul. He's the lead character of the film. If you've seen the trailers, he's getting dreams of this girl played by Zendaya on this planet, Arrakis, that is being basically overrun. And it's, you know, I don't want to get into it too much. But, you know, his character, you know, he has a, a slight personality, but... He's not, I mean, he, he's barely likable, <laughs> you know. Uh, Jason Momoa is in this. I think he's more likable. He has more of a, a flair to him as a character. Uh, but overall, I just thought the characters in this film weren't as, I mean, they were interesting. They held my interest, but they weren't like characters that I want to be like, yeah, I want to see another movie with these people, you know. Uh, so... That necessarily didn't work for me. The action is great. The cinematography is great. This is a beautiful looking film. The sound design is incredible. I saw it on a Cinemark XD theater. It sounded phenomenal. The cinematography, all of it. The production value, the effects. N I'm not going to say anything negative about any of that. Because it looked fantastic. My main gripe is I didn't really care about the story. And some of the choices and decisions that were made particularly in the last half of the film uh, that sort of made it feel very bloated, very dragged out. And you kind of know, okay, by the, the last 20 minutes, I'm thinking in my head, we're not going to get any resolution here because this film is marketed as Dune. And, you know, I haven't seen the original Dune film. I am aware that it is only one film. Pretty sure, anyway. I know Arrow Video just released it on 4K. I do plan to get that to watch it just to see how it wraps things up. If it does set up for something else, because this, it, it feels kind of like an incomplete film. Uh, maybe because there's more to come. Uh, but, you know, leaving, I didn't feel any, like, I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know. I just I didn't feel like yeah I'm gonna watch that again you know because it it nothing in this movie or about this movie hooked me you know I I could watch other films with terrific production design and cinematography and great you know sound effects and all that I could watch just a, a better film and maybe it's just one film like like the Fellowship of the Ring at the end of that film you do feel sort of like you you got something out of it. This film, you don't. It just totally feels like a setup movie. Um, I, I'd even say I like the first Hobbit movie more than this because Bilbo Baggins, Martin Freeman as that character, you know, 
you can relate to him a lot more. Everything in this movie, you can't really relate to it. And if you want to talk Star Wars, I know that the trailers and the commercials say, you know, this is the next Lord of the Rings, the next Star Wars. You know, the Timothy Chalamet character does not compare to Luke Skywalker. He just doesn't. I mean, there is, there's even like a scene, a bit in the beginning of the film, it's not really a spoiler, but Timothy Chalamet is just standing there and there's like a, a sunset or whatever in the distance and it's a shot from behind. And it kind of reminded me, it's like, are they trying to do a, like a binary sunset here type thing? Because it just, you know, the whole time it felt like they were trying to be something else but at the same time set up for stuff that's to come that, quite frankly, I just don't care about. Uh, I'm going to say I barely liked it because of the fantastic production value. Hans Zimmer's score is, is pretty good. But in the end of the day, I'd even say I like Christopher Nolan's Interstellar. You know, I mean, that's a big, loud movie with spaceships and everything. I think I like that more than this because there's, there's more of a likability to it and you can relate to it more and you could invest yourself into it more. With this, it's more interesting than anything, and I just couldn't get myself emotionally involved in it. And at the end of the day, I'm going to give Dune three out of five stars. I know that's not the best, but uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys. You know, that's how I felt about it. Um, comment down below. Did you see the film? Do you plan on seeing the film? What are your thoughts on it? Hey, if you loved it, comment down below. I I'm not going to be like, oh, you loved it. You're wrong. Because all film is subjective. I'm just simply here to give you my take on it. And if you do have an opinion that's kind of negative and you don't like the film or you barely like the film like I did, you know, don't be afraid to say it. Because just because a film has a high Rotten Tomato score and it's, 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 it's critically really uh, being received well and you feel differently, that doesn't mean you're wrong. Uh, it, it just means film is subjective and people have to deal with that so uh yeah guys that's about it for me don't forget to hit that subscribe button follow me on twitter at ranking 72 and instagram at king arises 131 and guys that's about it thank you so much for watching my non-spoiler review for dune and until next time over and out